Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. We are back with another video. Yes. I could finally drag this man. Sorry. Busy, busy, busy schedule. To Very make sorry, a guys. video with me. Have it's like, just been Can hectic. we make a video, please? And he's always busy, so. Sorry. I, so. I, I just, I've been busy with work. Work is really taking all my time. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm here. Yeah, so we are going to do our second episode of Shit Shot with the Angles. And today we're going to be discussing how do you or how do we deal with conflict in our relationship. And we're going to be giving advices that have worked for us as a couple. And what you, didn't work. And what, what didn't work. And then you can take from this conversation. And also would love for you guys to leave also your tips on how you deal with it. How do you do it? Conflict in your relationship. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be in a relationship. Like conflict between your sister or conflict between your mother, your boyfriend, your husband. How do you deal with it? So that's basically what we're going to be discussing today. Well, we have like an underline, like like uh, how do you say that things that we have discussed with each other like things we need to do when we have conflict so i'm just gonna go i'm gonna save you and giuseppe is gonna save you so that's like so you know the way the discussion is gonna go do you want to start babe yeah sure okay giuseppe is gonna start uh so how do we deal with conflicts well i think most importantly no matter what the conflict is you need to respect each other yeah that's one second one i can think of is choose your timing all right so i'll come i'll get back to that one thing i think is important uh, with a conflict is that um you take time to empathize with the other situation before you say anything right don't just Go at it. So let me just elaborate on those three. First on respect. So sorry. Uh, it goes hand in hand with the second one a little bit. Choose your timing. If you have a conflict, you know a hot one. You know a hot one means that you're both in a position that you're both tired or, or frustrated at the same time at the same moment that something happens and both of you don't have patience and it's just those situations you want to avoid. And how do you avoid them? Like, first of all, when you're very angry and on the tip of your toe, of your toe, the tip, tip of, of your, your tongue, tongue are like the <laughs> worst <laughs> words you can think of, just before you throw them out, they're like, Zzz. choose your timing and respect. That's it. Choose your timing and respect. If you're very angry, don't discuss it. Take a breather, t go your own way for a while or whatever. Time you know. out. We're time time out. out. Don't argue within the heat of the battle because that's just gonna get worse. So yeah, respect timing is very important. Choose your time when both of you calm down. Uh, then you can address the situation, right? And number three, empathize with each other before you say anything. Try to understand why it upsets the other person, right? Understand why this happens. Why there's a certain argument. What's her reason? Maybe her reason is good. Maybe it's not good, but if you don't know it, how can you have an argument? So think about it. If there's an argument, there's a reason why there's an argument. Find out the reason behind the argument and try to understand what the other point of person's point of view is, and then try to discuss it. Mm -hmm. Right? I have like six steps of 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 you know of of dealing with a problem. I'll get into the tips later. But those are three basic things I think is important. What are your three things? Um, I do feel like well, arguments are meant to happen. That's what that's it's just what it is. If you're in a relationship, you're gonna have other opinion than your spouse, and you might not agree, and you have, might have an argument. And arguments, like seriously, can just come from the most stupid things. Like I don't know, 
why didn't you pick up your pen from the floor or why do I have to clean up after you every single time like you know and sometimes it's just like something really small and then it blows up into something really big and that's something you cannot avoid in a relationship so anybody that thinks that you don't have arguments in your relationship honey you're just lying or you have a lot of money or you even people that have money still argue so i think it's healthy to have arguments it's the, it's the way you deal with them that that that's more important so for me i'm just gonna go up like discuss one or two step what we've discussed with each other how we like uh deal with conflict we like agree never to go to bed angry at each other and that's very important people that is so important you don't want to start your day with yesterday mess yesterday bitterness yesterday anger it's just it's just set it just starts your day it just makes your whole day look so deal with it the same day yeah and so, don't drag it to the next day don't drag it so like seriously this is really important never ever take an argument to the next day and it doesn't matter like and then you kind of ask the question okay but what if you we go to bed like at 12 and you had an argument at 11 like the argument is pretty still heated but you always we always have it in our head we have an hour to make this like talk about it and get it over with because it's seriously it's not Worth it's dragging. not worth dragging so that's one important thing guys if you're in a relationship or you're in your marriage please never try never ever like go to bed be angry and never argue before your spouse travel like that is also <laughs> another important uh, one wow yeah that we, one that, i experienced that, that one that one because we've experienced it and i felt like so bad I felt so bad because I couldn't contact him anymore. Like, I don't even know what happened. We had this crazy argument that morning when he was traveling and we didn't talk about it and he traveled. Like, he, where did you go to? England. You went to England and his phone was off and I couldn't talk to him the whole day. So I was still angry at him, but I was like more, I was really worried because I haven't spoke to him normally when he travels. We talked the whole time just to see like do you arrive and and he didn't tell me he didn't text me if he arrived so I'm like hmm I was pissed but then at the same time I was also really really worried so I don't that was the first time I experienced it so I told him we have to add this to the to the rule never ever it's, it's, it's an experience like, on both sides definitely. yeah I mean I went on a business trip and I had an important meeting and normally when I go on a trip or anything or uh, you know in the morning I like when you everything is okay like hey babe she tells me like hey babe good luck you know you keep in touch you're nervous sometimes so it's good to talk to the home front gives me courage gives me inspiration and gives me like i'm gonna do this and that day i noticed that i left and i just felt bad i was in the plane i was not feeling it i was with the customer i was not focused i came home actually everything was fine but it felt different yeah and i was also so far away and i was thinking you know god forbid something happens now this is not the way you want to you know leave each other so no. that's why deal with it in the night in the morning you wake up you can start it for day fresh and leave it for the days of course we don't want to sound too naive i know there's big issues out there that you cannot just think, talk about it for five minutes and it's finished that is, those are not the issues we're talking about here we're talking about those arguments, those irritation things, those small things that if you don't deal with them, they, they, become, can, they become bigger. We're yeah. talking about that stage. Yeah. Okay. We're not talking about huge marital issues that you just think like, okay, you can solve. Okay. No, no. We're talking about the, the anger of the early stage, the smaller things that start piling up if you don't deal with them. Yeah. So yeah, there's like, like we like he just said so that's something that i i hated that feeling the entire day and i don't want to like go through that so definitely never have an argument with your spouse when they're about to travel out of the country because trust me it's not going to feel okay that you're not going to feel at rest if you can like talk to them the entire time and another one that i do think that we really like keep is also the fact that we try not to bring our arguments to and if like if we're having a fight we don't like to like go out 
with people like socialize when you have a party or something and you're angry with your spouse and then you go out with other people like you bring that bad energy you know like the energy you bring is just so toxic because you guys are not acting like normal towards outside and that energy people are going to like sense that energy and you like bringing your shenanigans to affect other people's like you understand what, if you understand what yeah, I mean yeah. and it, that's also not not a good look to a, like from people seeing you guys not a good reflection and people would be like start working on eggshell because they don't know how to talk to you guys because trust me I've been to places where I see couples that are that are genuinely having arguments and you can see it, it and it doesn't look good at all so that's also something like I we do like we try not to bring our baggage out to like don't we do it first we do again. it first or you can drop it at home go out <laughs> and like don't drag your friends and families if you're having like a social gathering like try to leave it yeah done yeah. do you yeah. have something i have one more thing but just no, go ahead. Yeah? yeah go ahead and the last one for me the most important one guys seriously like never ever I don't care how um, close you are with these people. Try not to share so much of your marriage issues with friends or even with family. Because trust me, it's going to back clash. Try to solve your issues within your, between yourself and your husband. Because if you keep bringing your stuff, your shit out to people every single time, they're gonna start losing respect for your marriage or your relationship they're going to start losing respect for your spouse and you might forgive your spouse but they will not forgive your spouse because you've already sow sowed the negative seed in them by telling them every single time you have issues or a conflict with your husband you already go and tell somebody and and I understand that you need to talk to somebody when there's like a big issue and you cannot take like what I say you cannot solve well, there's it one, there's, by yourself then you can definitely like talk there's to there's one person you can talk to talk to yeah god mm -hmm. god you can always put everything into prayer but seriously it's so important and i'm not just saying this because i don't like to share stuff with my friends i do communicate with my friends but i choose the things i communicate with my friends because i never want my friends to look or perceive uh, how do you say pers um, perceive perceive my husband in a way that he that that I put him because trust me if you keep bringing your husband down in front of your friends you they're gonna lose total respect for him they're gonna lose total respect for your relationship and yeah, and end keep it inside that's it just keep it inside. What? of course if you if you have problem that you can solve you can uh, talk to your closest friend uh, you know, of course, you can share it, but uh, yeah, but you have people that every be single wise time about it. be wise about it. Not everybody who you think no. has the best interest for you no, actually girl. has your best interest. No, That's they don't. Real friends, like real, real friends, they're very scarce. Yeah, so I know if you have issues, you want to just get it off your chest. You know, sometimes it feels good to have issues and you can't get rid of it to just talk about it, you feel relieved afterwards yeah but it's not good because you just bring it out there and people start looking at your relationship in a different way yeah so That's don't, do it. It. don't do it so those are like really things that we agree on and what has worked for us in the past yeah. eight and, years and small things right small things which for me are logical but for a lot of people not don't curse don't curse each other out don't use names that you regret respect each other don't beat each other. Don't be physical. Never. Mm, we never. don't want to use the fist, people. Don't no, do don't we do don't. It. We don't. Both stop. ways. Don't do it. No, men. Do not drink until the issue is resolved. Like drink as a celebration, the issue is resolved. Don't drink, drink when you're angry. When you're angry. So once the thing is resolved, then you can drink together and make up. What is? Make oh up, my make God. up, make up. Why you party. do that? That's party. Why? What is that? Okay. Oh God, why do we have to deal with him? Behave, okay? okay. People like this is a family channel. Party, celebration party, make a party. 
No. <laughs> okay, guys. Guys. <laughs> no, was that enough tips? You want more tips? You have more tips? I think that's like I think there's a lot. It's quite a lot. We give them a lot of information that what yeah. we don't, what we do that works for us. Tr trust me, guys. Worked for us. It's your. It's you can choose few of the things that we've said and apply them into your relationship. But we're not saying you have to do it that way. But we're just giving you like what has worked for us so far. And trust me, we've been together for eight years, and we haven't really Going had strong. like a huge fight because we never let the small issues get into a big issue. Trust me, get it solved right away because it's not what the energy, it's not what the stress of. Oh, I'm not gonna talk to him. Oh, I'm not gonna cook for him. It just like takes so much energy, people. Yeah. Try to understand the real problem behind the problem. You know, a lot of times it's just miscommunication or it's misunderstanding or a person wants more attention about certain topics or somebody's just frustrated, you know, trying to find out what the real problem is and find the solution for both, okay? Yeah. A, a durable solution, a, a solution that will that not for one week but that you can adapt in your life. Yeah. Not something just to make up and then afterwards you go back to your normal life. Something you can both adapt, okay, and help each other out to adapt the thing that nobody's perfect. Communication key and you know, just respect each other and yeah. find out what the problem is. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. She's not perfect. I'm not perfect? I thought I was perfect guys. Like I don't know about you but it doesn't get better than this. I think, I think guys, this is enough for today because somebody's head is exploding. Did you just say I'm not perfect? See, this happens and I have to deal with this situation now. <laughs> so, I'm going to deal with just this kidding. situation. I'm just kidding, people. But that's it. I think that, that that's it for this video. I yeah. think we've given you guys what has worked for us so far. Please leave your comment below and tell us something that you think might work for us as well because there's love and sharing that's what this channel is about sharing ideas so yeah we're excited for this video we're gonna be doing more shit chat videos because i actually like them you just sit down and just be yourself and talk to people and say like give tips that are actually going to be useful to someone so i yeah. i really like this series so we will keep doing it and yeah thank you guys you want to add something no guys i'm just uh Keep posting comments, topics, anything you want to know. Yeah. That's it. That's it, people. Let oh, thank you guys so, so much for your love and support to this channel. We really, 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 truly appreciate it. And I know we've been slacking, but it's his fault. And we're going to, like, we're going to buckle him up soon. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much. We will make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And what? please, people, turn on your notification. I keep forgetting. I think to it's say this that. side. It's not this side. You're pointing on the wrong side this time. It's up there. No, it's up there. That little bell thing. If you don't press it, you won't get notified for new videos, videos guys. Turn on your notification. And yeah, thank you guys so so much. Thank you. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh